Hi guys, here's um, part of this uh, video that I'm going to do for this uh, power bank. Now, just uh, I'm going to do this over the next few days, uh, just to make sure that I've got plenty of time to uh, do this, to charge, discharge and monitor the actual device. So there'll probably be quite a few jump cuts in the middle of this edit, but uh, you know, not a problem. Well, as long as the facts come out at the end, that's what we're after. Um, it does obviously take time to... Uh, charge these units and discharge them in a controlled manner. Anyway, so just a uh, first test. This is the uh, blue power bank that I got uh, from eBay. Um, it's uh, nothing spectacular. It says, oh, 30,000 amp hour. I don't know how they calculate that because it's empty. Um, there's no cells in it when you buy it. So, okay, usual marketing guff from eBay. Anyway, so what we have is a 3.6 volt cell here, eight of them paralleled, each of them are 1800 milliamps, and they're 18650 cells. At the end we've got a little LCD, a little uh, boost converter, and a charger here. Now, initial tests with uh, this uh, charge control, this monitor, USB monitor. It's quite interesting actually. Each of these charge ports each of these two charge ports on the end here can take up to one amp of power. Um, so it's the five volts. I feed it 5.2 volts and it jumps straight up to the one amp and holds it pretty well. Um, it will drop off towards the full capacity of the charger, of the battery. But anyway, one amp on each of these ports. Or if you plug both in, you get one amp across both ports. So there's a one amp limit and it does power share between them. So the one goes down to about three quarters an amp, one goes to quarter an amp, so it's a little bit of power shearing going on there. Um, but theoretically you can charge this device at up to one amp if you've got a, an adequate power supply. Um, the um, device, let me just bring in my notepad now. <clears throat> the power bank, the blue power bank, now it was at 66% charge when I started this charge testing. I raised it up to 100% charge and uh, this little device said that it took uh, 4.3 amp hour of power 4.83 amp hour of power so that calculates um, you know about 4.83 amp hour funnily enough because I've already done that calculation anyway so therefore 100% of the charge is going to equate about 14.2 amp hour now that calculates really quite nicely considering we've got eight cells here and they're all new, they, they all came straight out of a 10 cell um, third party sort of eBay uh, or Amazon purchased um, <coughs> uh, laptop battery, brain went blank. So these are all theoretically new cells straight out of a brand new laptop battery I've just split down. Now laptop pack cost me just under £10 and I got 10 cells which claim to be 1800 milliamps. Totaled together that would calculate um, the power at about 14.4 amp hour. Well that's interesting because I'm measuring 14.2 on the charge as a theoretical based on that 34% of charge, so looks like these batteries are performing in the zone, certainly where I would like them to be. So, I'll conduct further tests, obviously full charge, full discharge, the whole lot, and uh, see how things go forward over the next uh, few little snippets of video. So there's the first test of charging the machine, and uh, the numbers are making sense. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next one.